Hello everyone and welcome to Stinko's Den. Today we're going to be jumping in, trying out the Amazing American Circus. Now this one is interesting because you would not tell it from like just looking at this, but it's actually kind of a roguelite sort of deck builder. Yes, yeah, so another one of those games. I don't mind them. I really, if as long as they change stuff up and like make it quite interesting and it's like a solid game behind it, you know, I don't, I don't really mind it that much. A lot of people are getting kind of a little bit over the old deck building thing but i love cards man i've always loved cards magic the gathering i was into that and it it works man in gaming so far strangely it really works so i'm really excited to check out this one and yeah thank you to the devs for supplying a code so thanks to them i get to enjoy this with you now so big up to them they're amazing they're awesome thank you so much you guys but yeah we're gonna jump right in and see what we can see so if you want to see more of these first impression videos definitely hit the subscribe button also hit the like, I appreciate it, it helps out the channel, the fist bump is amazing. And get it, it gets the videos out there, but we're just gonna get right into this one now. Uh, MT, my first play. Oh, character's name. Okay, that just opened something in the background. I guess you can actually import and make your own like little profile picture, which is interesting. But, um, yeah, let's, let's see this thing. Like right from the start, you know, prologue, tutorial, all that. Look at my nephew, grim as the reaper. Got some bad news, he did. He hopped on a train, cause, you see, his dad just kicked a bucket. His ma is, uh, still mourning her husband, I suppose. I'm not too happy either. Arthur and I was brothers after all. His dear, dead daddy. The owner of the miserable Jones Circus. I bet young Jones has no plans to take over. But could there be a way to change his mind? I wonder. Very interesting premise and everything out. The funeral is over, you get back into the house or rather the ruined shit you used to call home. Uncle Jack sits down an old squeaky chair and pouts his lips in a cheeky manner. Okay. And off he goes. The damn fool. Ha, <laughs> Uncle Jack. Good old Uncle Jack. Hmm, mother has nothing to say. Well, I'm gonna be off then. Hold your horses, boy. You gotta see what your old daddy left you first. <laughs> the music and everything sets up quite, uh, sets it up quite interesting. It, it, it's a throwback to that, like, early like the 1900s you know early 20th century like this whole vibe like even the way they talk it's like ah oh, howdy man don't your daddy left y'all some first hour and hour like Jack, you don't need to but he's not listening to you he goes outside and you follow with an exasperated sigh you already know what he's going to show you your pa left you his circus hey paul my you circus don't say. don't say son uh, he's the son, technically. The circus, as Jack called it, consists of a couple of rusty stands and an old big top that hasn't been used in 20 years. So I guess you call this a big top. <laughs> it shows you how little I know about this. Hard to believe that he and Uncle Jack used to be the most famous circus performers in America. Wow. It's yours now, all that sad mess. I don't want it. I got a train to catch. So if there's nothing else... <laughs> we call their old Betsy. Not even gonna say hello to the troop. Yo, man, come on. Remember, from the funeral? Three very small and very ragged artists who look as if they spent the last couple of years in a basement, stare at you intensely, uh, with barely confined, disturbing excitement in their eyes. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and Grandma Betty's there. Try not to piss her off. And sweet Jimmy, the guy makes the best pink lemonade. That was pink lemonade. Good old Grandma Betsy on the switch, Jimmy. You greet them cautiously, and then you spot your mother coming out of the house, pulling the black shawl tighter around her shoulders. Her stern grimace softens as she gets closer. Oh, are you preparing a show to honor your father? Oh dear, I'm getting pulled into the family business. I just want to catch a train for the big city, y'all. Yes, that is exactly what he's doing. Oh, Uncle Jack, pulling me in. I am not. I'm leaving. Come on, boy. Years of watching your father and I, you must have picked up something. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. 
You know, this will be one big disaster, but hey, one quick show and they'll leave you in peace, right? No man, this is just a tutorial. You're getting pulled in. Uh, you uh, these are your artists. The three can perform a single show. Oh. These are your audience waiting to be entertained. It won't come easy since each spectator has various uh, abilities and actions that make your job harder. That's quite interesting. An interesting take on this. I love it. Here are your cards. They represent your artist's tricks. Shuffle your deck. Okay, so each of them has like their own thing. These are your vitality. It refreshes at the start of each turn as each artist increased by one. Okay. Pay attention to the types of cards. This one reduces spectators' boredom with impress your goal is to impress your audience and bring them to the stage you see no no damage and stuff it's just like they're entertained they're, they need to be entertained and i've got like entertaining stuff uh state of delight oh let's delight them card's name is visible here fireball juggling record as a vitality cost playing a card decreases your vitality by this specified so they kind of get tired i guess you must impress them before you get too tired this number on the other hand represents how the card will influence the finale or if played. The mechanic will be explained later. There is a description explaining in detail what the card does. Some of the cards have uh, this fix and activated special circumstances only. In order to find out the details, right click on it. I use the island card and paint a chosen spectator. Mm. Okay. Let's attack Jack. Yeah! I'm gonna impress you, man. <laughs> oh, he's impressed. Look at that. When you finish your turn, the cards from your hand are placed in the discord pile to which the audience performs their actions. Bear, they will heckle me. Sneers one. One times two. Okay, so he's gonna s s sneer twice. In my turn. Oh, he just chucked the potato at me. That's not a sneer, he just attacked me. That's attack. Was he sneering? Lowers the focus of your artist. Oh, crap. In order to protect your artist from. Decrease in fo focus. Use cards that equip them with the ability to ignore the attacks. Pay attention to the planned actions of the audience. Okay, remember the ignore ability resets at the beginning. So it's kind of th that. That is like armor. <laughs> cards have various effects. For example, draw gets you new cards. Boons and flaws affect special effects on characters and have some new focus. You can examine the effects by right clicking. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, they're both gonna attack the clown. Let's give him some ignore. <laughs> uh, if orders focus hits zero, one of the cards gets scrapped from the deck afterwards the focus resets. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. If orders loses all their cards, they are removed from the show in addition to vital decreases by one. Oh. If you lose all your orders, the show ends a failure. The order scores is scrapped, they get to choose which one. Oh, okay. I guess above the cards uh, inform you where the particular card is located at the moment. Okay. Mm. Show me what you got, man. He blocked it, he blocked it. The cards in deck are used, the discard power reshuffles back into your deck. Uh, it has a cost though. When you reshuffle, it takes place. All orders lose five focus. Mm. Uh, let's see. Okay, they really want me to play this one. Uh, juggling ball. Gather juggling balls to play specific juggler cards. Use the power. So they all have a mechanic. Uh, this one has like the juggling ball mechanic. Stash one juggling ball. Hmm. Information about the value of a character will receive after card is played. So let's 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 impress that guy. Oh, he sits down. He's like, yes, no more heckling for me. I'm so super impressed. It's got um, play influence the finale bar. Mm. The card's finale value can be positive, neutral, negative. Pay attention or for your actions. Don't lose a chance to perform the finale. Okay. Perform your finale! What a 
some weird interesting mechanic. Oh, she was impressed. Oh man, okay. You clearly got some of that Arthur's blood in you, boy. Oh, I got no blood in me, boy. That was surprisingly good. And that reminds me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a letter. Of course there was. It's always a letter. Yes, yes, from the Circus Association. Is that actually a thing? Addressed to your pa. There's gonna be a circus competition. Oh dear, I'm getting pulled in, man. Every time I I, I, I want to go, they just pull me in deeper. Uh, sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Wait till you hear the best part. The winner gets one hundred thousand dollars. Okay, back in these days, that's probably like getting like a few million. One hundred thousand. Before silence, start thinking. You always resented this weird hobby of your father. Rather, it seems to bring him bad fortune than profit. Ah, you see. And he always seemed determined to put you on this path. So much so that you always felt a deep need to resent it. Ah. Uncle Jack grins. You'd ah. obviously share the winnings with your poor uncle and widowed ma, wouldn't you? Yeah, a thousand buck each. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. You got no woman waiting for you with hot supper, no house, no job, because they just let you go together with first year of debts. One hundred thousand could solve most of this problem I guess I do know a thing or two about a circus. Ah, they got me. They got my hooks. You sure do. And we need money. Hook, line, and sinker, man. It's going in. You think about the show you just gave, and you have to admit, it felt kind of good to be on Fine. stage. I'll do it. Why the hell not? Fine. My good boy. That's a boy. Well, in that case. Mm, Uncle Ange, an old map of the states. All blurred and hard to read without a magnifying glass. This should help you on your travels. Use it when you're ready to leave. Good luck. Good luck, kid. Smart decision. Uh, you aren't sure, but you're willing to take the gamble, you think. Goodbye, son. I hope. I hope. She holds. Her voice quivers. Ah, never mind. Off you go then. Oh, no. Uh, this is your map where you get to choose such as you want to visit. The locations are separated by roadways. Uh, one trip can three roadways. Okay. Open your cities and quest locations with the magnifying glass. Remember, though, you need to pay of cash each case. Select Seattle as your next destination. We're going to Seattle. Uh, type big Wild West, uh, 1851. Oh yeah, we're like not quite early 1900s, like late uh, mid mid uh, 19th century. Population oh so small. Timber, timber called Seattle. Timber being. It's main resource, but there are also other calls in the city much less proud, much less noble. Oh dear. Audience, one miner. It's gonna be a kid. Or an actual miner, who even knows? Uh let, let's go. Or does I have, have to eat each venturing forth your plan provisions? Oh my lord, are you serious? Uh the number of cities she passed by doing a journey determines the number of required meals. Available dishes are listed here. Uh, food, which is impacts your artist. Uh, this is represented by these three parameters. Oh, okay. If they are high enough, you unlock positive effects. Boons. If they reach a low value, flaws. Ah, oh, you get flaws. Our specific types of dishes impact parameters. Okay. I choose a dish and drag it to available s slot. Okay. So I got boiled potatoes. Uh, okay, so it's not very nutritious. It's quite healthy. Not quite satisfying. Yeah, boiled potatoes, man. Oh, where do I drag it to? There. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, it's all you're gonna get, boys. Me boyos. Cash fame. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So far, I'm um city. I'm quite interested to see what the game is gonna have. It's 
the mechanics and stuff are quite unique so far. So my nephew packed up Arthur's circus and off he went. I'll be mighty surprised if it all doesn't turn out all right. His father was big in America once. Oh, we both were. The adventure of a lifetime awaits young Mr. Jones and his crazy troop. God, to be young again. Anything can happen in the Wild West, but I'm sure he'll be just fine. The path to becoming the greatest American showman is going to be quite challenging. Yeah, the title. There you go. There you go. So, we're your employees now, huh? Uh-huh. Looks like it. Oh, this is going Sweet to be good. We knew your... Hey! Hey! Huh? Hey! Huh? <laughs> I'm coming with you. Oh my lord! Just finished setting up big, uh, big top for the first time as Uncle Jack rides up to you, uh, heaving euphorically. He dismounts and tries to catch his breath and stumbles towards you. It's that old drunk again. Oh, that drunk! Good old drunk. I'm uh, coming with you. <laughs> uh huh. Uh. So it's a good idea. A good idea. Of course it is. Oh, in the name of our circus, our. Was mine. About it the whole way, <laughs> and I found it. Jones and Jones Circus. You know, seeing as we both are Joneses, and your pa was named Jones. Joneses. Is this. Yeah, I think I get it. But hold on a minute. Yeah. It's settled then. Oh, <laughs> what? Get rid of me easily, boy. Hey, I boy. to make all this work. Yeah, boy, it's my plan. Sweet Jimmy sends you a knowing look. Oh, that man is hard to argue with. I can tell you that. Yeah. Better just accept. And move along. Move along. Your uncle makes himself at home and takes a seat in front of your cart. Huh, Jones and Jones Circus it is then. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, I like this. I like this. Uh, we didn't really have actually any circuses in South Africa. It's not a big thing here. So I don't know about you guys. When you were young, did you actually go to the circus and stuff like that? Was that actually a thing? Hoodoo wagon. Oh my god. Artist wagon. Training. Okay, so there's nothing really I can do right now. Recruitment. Okay. So off we go. Okay, performers. Uh, you get to decide which artists get the stitch. Just up to three performers at a time, so I can I can recruit more. Shows are divided in, up into three acts. Here's where the misfits come in handy. The role is to activate a special effect at the beginning of an signed act. The number of misfits slots on the poster informs you how many acts there are in the show. Uh, there's always a chance your artist will receive some effects, boons and flaws, and special cards, gifts, and hoaxes. Okay, then you, when you're all set up, you can press the button. Wow, this is actually like very... Very in-depth. Well, the way they put them down was like this. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should put him down. Oh, oh, no, 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 they go there, misfits. Oh, I get it. No, I get it. I get it. My bad. My bad, you guys. Finale. The tight rope. Okay. Beginning of the act. Extra impress. Stash three. Random artist. Okay. No added effects. Miners. I think, yeah, this is just the basic start. So let's just get into it. Uh, you never know how many spectators are going to show up, and that's why managing your business side of a show is so important. Uh, here's an expected revenue for the show. If it turns out to be successful, you get cash. The amount should be somewhat between the highest and the lowest value marked on the bar. Hmm. Your income decreases if you lose an artist during the show. Oh, sure. If you want, you can take a risk and increase the expected revenue. This action proportionately changes both the highest and lowest value of the section. Because, ah, but it's also... Probably more difficult than you can afford it. You can always invest in a promotion of your show. This both reduces the risk and opens up a chance to earn even more successful. Okay. 
Uh, parade. Let's do some advertisement. I think that's kind of a good idea. Let's let's kind of like. Let's do that. Start the show. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, oh, those guys are sitting. Hey, lizard man, do something cool. Okay, they're gonna attack like him and her. Uh, stash one ball. Let's do that. Uh, next three cards have finale three. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Draw one card each shuffle. Extra sneering minus two stash. Let me. Yeah, do that. Okay, I'm gonna give him some ignore. Oh, he can't go now. That one costs too much. Mm. Uh, let's do that. A buff. Uh, state of mind. Extra sneering stash minus two. Increase by one at the end of turn. Oh, boo, miners, boo. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, effects all ignore six. Oh, let's impress them. Okay, so he does a lot of ignore stuff. Uh, unstash ignore and press one for e every... Okay, so he's gonna... He takes his ignore away and then he damages them. Okay. Unstash all juggling balls and press four for each ball. Okay, yeah. Okay, so she like builds up. So I kind of like... Okay, so it's cool that I took away his ignore and press two stash. Oh, let's let's see if I can dunk one of them. Very interesting. I like it. I like it. Oh, he's close to being down, man. He's close to being down. Uh, act one of one. Okay, so this is kind of like follow-ups, I guess. One might say. Okay, he's going for the clown. He's going for the goal. Extra ignore stash three. Oh, should I give someone ignore? Let's do him. I think I can take him down. Yeah, he's seated. Yes. Um, let's give her some extra ignore. Mm. Okay, let's do him. <laughs> okay, she's gonna take some damage, I think. Oh, no, no, she actually ignored some. Uh, ignore five, stash one ball. Press two, stash one. Okay, it's gonna go at the clown. Let's see if we can do this. when she like draws like a big ball because I'm like building up my balls here that sounds so weird man <laughs> uh, double impress party fart yes I like that um oh okay now Okay, I think I'm done here. I think I'm done here. Let's see what he does. Oh, he went at him. He went at him. I think I can do a big finale now. Oh, crap. I need to scrap a card now. Fix all it more. Six. Oh, let's do that one. Grr. Oh, I think I can, like, hit him now. Like, oh, all my balls, like... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh, once. I didn't have to do the finale. Man, we did. We did it. Oh, and they level. 
Your artists are rewarded with experience points for each show. Leveling your employees up unlocks new cars, improve the ones you already have. Oh, that's cool. Uh, there was a chance your artists will receive some effects. Oh, boons, flaws, special cards, gifts, hoaxes after the show. Last but not least, uh, here you can find out how profitable the show was. Keep in mind uh, that losing artists during a performance affects your earnings. Yeah. Ah, but I got some extra dirt because I did that. Bandage. Shuffle one random scrap card into your deck. Vanish. Uh, vitality 2. Faint hearted. Increase sneering effect received by the artist oh no he's got a negative at least they got some xp they got some xp out of that man you know what what i think we'll do fine with the circus i mean we'll be fine uncle well, jack a bit early to say yeah yeah don't don't I over you we're gonna get recognizable in no time put up a show in front of buffalo bill himself one day oh buffalo bill uh you're joking you're joking when was the last time you wasn't drunk and actually looked at our circus? Yo. Oh. We're going to take part in the tournament for sure. Challenging him, proving we are better. It would ease our chances. Oh. Jack, you're delusional. Jack, you're delusional. Don't underestimate me, kid. I used to be a tightrope Jackie. Oh, tightrope Jackie? In person? Think big. I don't know. Think big. You think... Uh, let's improve your artist's abilities. Oh, that's cool. Remember, though, that only employees that are experienced enough can train. Uh, press the button, select the artist train. During the training, you can choose between a new card and upgrade an existing one. Okay, upgrading a training back and gives you a reroll. Oh, that's quite cool. But you need, I need a lot more, a lot more expertise, it would seem. Recruitment, here I can get new people. Uh, let me see. Cost of fire. Okay, I can get like high flying artists. Well, yeah, this this is looking freaking amazing, man. I must say, I'm super impressed. I'm super impressed. Like, this is like taking like stuff that's established and putting like such a new, unique spin on it that I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed, man. The amazing American Circus. Like, I'm going to have a link down below. You guys should go check it out. Definitely at least wishlist it. It helps out the devs a lot. But this is looking freaking cool, man. Show unavailable. Collected all the fame stores. Oh, okay, so now I have to move on. Man, I'm, I'm, yo, I'm blown away by this. I'm, I'm like really, really interested. Like... All in all, I really like these sort of games, you know what I'm saying? But, um... This, like, takes it next level. Really, really next level. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for checking this out with me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see more first impression videos, some Let's Play, some Top 5, all sorts of cool videos. I'm probably going to upgrade my place. Like, it's going to look better. It's going to look better. It'll look better, Mom, I swear. Mal. But yeah, that's all we got today. I hope you, hope you guys enjoyed this with me. And yeah, stay safe out there. Don't be a, dr a drunk Uncle Jack. Just be, just be awesome. Stay safe, stay cool. And yeah, thank you guys so much for checking us out with me. I really appreciate it. And I'll definitely be seeing you guys again very soon. In the next one.